can do that. <laughs> yeah. What do you practice? What do you study? What are you passionate about uh, these days? Well, my, the latest thing is that I've discovered this, this whole school of, of vocal coaching, this New York vocal coaching <laughs> thing. I'm just, it's absolutely amazing and yeah. mind-blowing, and I'm not, even, I'm not even playing. It is mm. actually all of that. Mm. That's, a, that's a new arena for me. Mm. Um, but throughout my entire life, it's been about learning. Yeah. You know, I'm naturally an arranger, mm. but I never stop learning more about arranging. Yeah. Mm. You know, um, I'm always listening to other people and how they do things. And there's always something new that I have not discovered. Yeah. There's always new ways of doing a lead vocal. I am constantly learning new ways yeah. of, of skinning that cat. Yeah. And, you know, and different approaches to, to how, how we produce. Because mm. you know, the whole industry is changing. Technology changing yeah. is, is always changing. So we always have to just keep bringing it in, yeah. keep your mind open. And you know, it was Quincy Jones that said, you know, never, never stop learning. Mm. You can always learn. I don't care how old you are. Yeah. You never know it all. When you think you know it all, that's when you're done. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. One of the techniques I use to learn is I first fi figure out what I like, and then I say, why do I like this? Mm. And then I approach almost everything that way, yeah. you know, because what, even things that didn't seem to catch my eye the first time, when I go back and I see everyone else is enjoying it, I'll say, well, man, well, I wonder why they like that. Let me get into that a little bit and say, oh, man, that is pretty cool. Yeah. And so regardless of the genre, regardless of the style, um, you can always find an entertainment value, something that is enjoyable about it, yeah. and then dig into why it, and then as you start to, start to transcribe or something like that, you figure out and dissect it, you figure out why it is the way it is and why people enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Any other things you're passionate about learning or ways that you practice? No? One other thing I will just add is there have been a couple of times when I've had uh, a mental, I'm trying to think of a different way to say it, brain farts. Mm. And I don't know what the next lyric is. <laughs> I don't know. It's coming. I see it. It's coming. I'm looking at their faces, trying to see if anybody can help me before I give them this look. <laughs> and there will be some move or something that I'll do, and it's there. Mm. Like the arm, for whatever reason. So as much as possible, I would encourage people to practice all of the mnemonic devices use everything you know your what are your don't don't rehearse sitting down if you're going to be standing up you know D give all of what you're supposed to do if you're an oral learner put it on repeat learn it learn it learn it listen to it listen to it. even as you're you know washing your dishes or whatever take all of the devices because your brain will see it'll get in there some kind of different ways that you're not intentional about or aware of yeah and it will come out when you need it I would go back to just add one other thing. When you start to dissect, there's some things that people who are really good, but then you say they've taken it too far. Mm. And just understand that there's a certain level of technicality yeah. that sometimes is just too much. Yeah. <laughs>